Your current time is 1.05 a.m. Central Daylight Time. The station is currently on abbreviated mode due to severe weather conditions in the area. Hurricane Laura is currently causing hazardous conditions around much of southern Louisiana. The following message is an emergency broadcast which is being issued in relation to Hurricane Laura which has made landfall near Cameron, Louisiana as of 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time. This is an urgent message issued at the request of the National Hurricane Center in conjunction with the National Weather Service Office in Lake Charles, Louisiana. This message will contain important information regarding impacts from Hurricane Laura. Please listen carefully as this information may save your life. Due to a combination of heavy rain, strong winds, and high storm surge, catastrophic damage from flooding is expected to occur along the warm area. The combination of a dangerous storm surge and the tide will cause normally dry areas near the coast to be flooded by rising waters moving inland from the shoreline. Areas that will likely see the highest storm surge include, but are not limited to, Johnson Bayou to Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge including Calcasia Lake, with storm surge of 15 to 20 feet, Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge to Intracoastal City, with storm surge of 10 to 15 feet, Intracoastal City to Morgan City including Vermilion Bay, with storm surge of 8 to 12 feet, Seren State Park to Johnson Bayou including Satin Lake, with storm surge of 6 to 9 feet, and Morgan City the mouth of the Mississippi. Mississippi River with storm surge of 4 to 7 feet. The remaining areas, not previously listed, can still expect to see storm surge between 1 to 5 feet, depending on your location. The deepest water will occur along the immediate coast near and to the right of the landfall location, where the surge will be accompanied by large and destructive waves. Unsurvivable storm surge with large and destructive waves will cause catastrophic damage from Sea Rim State Park. Texas, to Intracoastal City, Louisiana, including Calcasia and Satin Lakes. This surge could penetrate up to 40 miles inland from the immediate coastline and floodwaters will not fully recede for several days after the storm. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Many areas along the Louisiana coastline should expect catastrophic conditions within the coming days. Hurricane force winds are expected for much of southwestern Louisiana, extending into extreme southeastern Texas. Tropical storm force winds are expected for south central and southeastern Louisiana. If you are within a hurricane warned area, expect sustained winds of over 74 miles per hour for much of the coming day. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 60 miles from the center of Laura, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 205 miles. Wind gusts within this storm could reach much higher than what has been listed and gusts could very well reach in excess of 150 miles per hour in the eye wall of the storm. Many structures will be severely damaged or destroyed by winds of this magnitude. For your own safety, remain away from windows and get to the most central, closed-off room in your house if you have not gotten there already. Heavy rainfall will occur due to this storm, with the highest amounts likely to occur across the northwestern Gulf Coast, from far southwest Louisiana and the Golden Triangle of southeast Texas with 8 to 12 inches, with isolated totals of 18 inches being possible. Central and the rest of western Louisiana and into far eastern Texas can expect 5 to 10 inches, with isolated totals of 15 inches or more. This rainfall will cause widespread flash and earthen flooding, small streams and creeks to overflow their banks, and minor to moderate freshwater river flooding. This rainfall will likely only serve to worsen conditions in areas heavily affected by storm surge. There is a slight risk for tornadoes in the path of Hurricane Laura, with several tornadoes expected to occur overnight over Louisiana, far southeast Texas, and southwestern Mississippi. The risk for tornadoes will continue through the day across Louisiana, Arkansas, and western Mississippi as the storm moves forward. All of these conditions will lead to life-threatening and potentially catastrophic consequences for much of the state of Louisiana and surrounding areas. 
If you have not evacuated as of now, it is too late. The best you can do now is hunker down, stay where you are, and brace for safety. Stay tuned to the National Hurricane Center along with the National Weather Service for more information and future updates on this event.